We are sending a very loud message to the leadership in the House, to the leadership and members of the Senate, and to the President of the United States. And that message is pretty clear. At a time when the middle class is disappearing and when working families from Vermont to California are struggling to keep their heads above water, do not cut Social Security, Medicare, yeah. Medicaid, and other programs. Now, we've been through the Great Recession. And some people's 401k has turned into a 201k. <laughs> and so many people's wealth is in their home value, and we saw what happened to that in the foreclosure mm -hmm. crisis. So the rock of retirement remains Social Security more than ever. Social Security has survived the Great Depression, wars. It, it, it'll survive. This is not something that was just created out of the air. It was created because it reflected our values as a country. This isn't a handout. This isn't a gift from taxpayers. This is a system that workers paid into. And now workers count on it. And the cost of living adjustments aren't too lavish. Cost of living adjustments are meager at best and non-existent at worst. The average Social Security check is slightly more than $1,200 a month. After Medicare deductions, I only have a little over $950 a month. Currently, I receive a little over $800 a month in Social Security. I can't afford to lose any of my benefits due to the chain CPI cut in benefits. As uh, Congressman Deutsch talked about, I'm going to have to find ways to uh, cut back on the food that I eat, or you know, buy cheaper things. Mm -hmm. I've already done that. Chain CPI would hit female beneficiaries especially hard because we tend to live longer. Every month I spend $500 on health insurance. I barely have any money left to cover my other expenses. I have some kids I love. Mm -hmm. And I have a grandson that I really love. Think when they're talking about what it's going to do for us in 20 or 30 years, what it's going to do to them. And instead of hearing people scowl about how we need to reform entitlements, we should be talking about how we preserve and strengthen Social Security, right. Medicare, and Medicaid. Yes. You save Social Security not by cutting benefits to seniors who are struggling to stay alive on $15,000 a year, not by cutting benefits for disabled veterans. You save Social Security by lifting the cap. We can scrap the cap. Before you have any vision at all of cutting any program that working families depend upon, let's end the loopholes that allow corporate America and the rich to stash their money in the Cayman Islands and other taxes. We wouldn't let our government repeal Social Security, and we are not going to let them dismantle it inch by inch. That will not happen. We're not going to let anybody mess with it. And I'm going to tell you this, I don't care who is talking about messing with Social Security, we're going to fight back. You bet. I don't care what office they occupy. That's right. Because I'm in the Social Security Party. <laughs> it is true that the big money interest in Wall Street want to raise the retirement age of Social Security to 70, and they want to cut all of the programs we depend upon. But the American people are clear. And what our job here in Congress in working with you, you have got to rally the grassroots. You have got to put pressure on members of Congress. You have got to tell every single member of the House and Senate from your state that if they choose to cut Social Security, Medicare, or Medicaid, they do it at the peril of their reelection. And make that make it clear.